The Gun Devil. That's right, today on Fought on the Telly, we're going to be breaking down one of the most iconic devils and antagonists from Chainsaw Man. And we're going to be answering the question, just what is the Gun Devil in Chainsaw Man? As always, if you enjoyed the video or learned something new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that tiny bell so my videos go directly into your feed and don't forget to check out some of our other chainsaw man content warning this video will contain spoilers for chainsaw man part one so if you're an anime only fan keep that in mind because we're going to be spoiling a lot of stuff but down out the way let's get right into the video shall we we're going to be kicking it old school with this one 13 years before the events of episode one of chainsaw man the world decided to attempt to combat their devil problem by increasing the production of firearms, hoping to arm the civilians of the world to protect themselves against these nasty devils. As is bound to happen, the increase in gun ownership led to an increase in gun violence across the world, along with just general violence and civil revolts. Due to the world media and American media's heavy coverage of this gun violence and gun crime, Worldwide fear of guns begin to increase dramatically over the next number of years, unknowingly granting increased strength to the gun devil. Remember, in Chainsaw Man, a devil's power is correlated with its general fear from either humans or fellow devils, just fear in general. The stronger the fear of any certain type of things, a la gun, gun violence, the stronger the corresponding devil gains in power. On November 18th, a large terrorist attack occurred in America, marking it to be the first appearance of the Gun Devil. Not long afterwards, the Gun Devil would appear in Japan, launching an attack that lasted 26 seconds. In that 26 seconds, though, over 58,000 people were killed. A few of these people killed would be Division 4 member Aki Hayakawa's family. Aki witnessed this attack as a child, losing his parents and his brother to the gun devil. From here, the gun devil would continue to attack many countries around the world, the death total exceeding 1.2 million in just under five minutes. After this five minutes of attack, the gun devil would vanish, but its impact upon the world led to an even more increase of fear of devils as well as gun violence around the world. In order to counter this fear of guns and devils, an international law was prepared to strictly control the making of firearms in every country in order to overall lower the fear of guns in an attempt to weaken the gun devil who caused massive amounts of destructions in just a few minutes being around the world. After this excursion of violence by the gun devil, it would vanish. We would learn later in the story of Chainsaw Man that it was defeated by some unknown person or unknown entity, its body being found by the Soviet Union. The body would then be separated into several pieces and held by a number of countries as well as devils. 20% of its body would be owned by the United States, 28% by the Soviet Union, 11% owned by China, and 4% owned by other nations. The remaining 37% was left in pieces of meat and scattered throughout the world through a number of devils. It's a common theory in the fan base that it was Pochita in a full Chainsaw Man form before he combined with Dingy, who defeated this devil. As when Dingy meets Pochita, it has a bunch of bullet holes in it. But this isn't confirmed and it's still left pretty unknown who exactly dealt with the gun devil. The 37% left of the gun devil that was left in the hands of normal devils is important as these devils can eat pieces of the gun devil to greatly increase their power leading to a bit of an epidemic with more devil violence. The gun devil serves as the primary antagonist for Chainsaw Man as Dingy promises to kill it for Makima and Aki's life goal is to kill this devil to take revenge for his family as well as the attack on Japan. Special Division 4 are tasked with finding the Gun Devil, tracking various devils who have eaten portions of the Gun Devil, like we said, granting them an increased strength in power. As Division 4 continues to hunt for the Gun Devil, it continually sends its minions 
to attack and potentially kill Dingy, wanting to claim its heart. One such of these minions is a devil hybrid, the Katana Man. Like Dingy, the Katana Man is the result of a human combining with a Katana Devil. This human happens to be the grandson of the mob boss Dingy kills in episode 1. After the Eternity Devil arc, Special Division 4 are confronted by this Katana Man, who reveals he was charged with taking Dingy's heart as he pulls out a gun, shooting Dingy in the head before continuing to shoot Himeno and Aki. Simultaneously, most of the other humans in Special Division 1 through 4 were attacked, many of them killed. While international laws were passed to regulate the production of guns, many nations are still manufacturing and circulating them in secret under contracts made with the gun devil in order to benefit from this lack of production of firearms. Makima reveals she had been taking fragments of the gun devil and collecting them together in order for the Japanese government to get advantages over these other countries. It's interesting because in many ways the gun devil kind of almost parallels nuclear weapons in our modern society in a lot of aspects. Learning about Makima's collection of the gun devil parts, the president of the United States states forms a pact with the 20 percent gun devil sacrificing one year off of every u.s citizen's life in a contract in order for the gun devil to kill makima upon activation of this contract the gun devil would attack the city of nikaho in akita prefecture murdering thousands of japanese citizens as it unleashed thousands of rounds of gunfire. The gun devil then has its sights set on Makina, who at this point has been revealed to be the control devil. Surprise, surprise. Makima then dies to the gun devil. The 29th time Makima would be reborn. She then unleashes her ultimate power, ultimately defeating the gun devil. Unfortunately though, in this attack, the gun devil would kill Aki. But the devil does not die after Makima defeats it. No, it is revealed that the gun devil has bonded with Aki's body, transforming him into the gun fiend. The gun fiend heads to Aki's old apartment where Power and Dingy are resting, Dingy answering the door, coming face to face with his old friend as the gun fiend pulls out a rifle, shooting Dingy in the stomach. Dingy realizes to his horror the gun fiend is his former friend Aki. Struggling to harm his friend, the fight with the gun devil rages on, much collateral damage beginning to happen to the city around them. Aki, meanwhile, is living in a strange alternate reality where he is in a young form of himself and is having a snowball fight with Dingy in power. Meanwhile, paralleled in reality, a brutal battle rages on between the Chainsaw Man and the Gun Fiend, much of the city's streets being destroyed and innocent lives being taken. Dingy is getting his ass kicked, unable to hurt his former friend, until a number of citizens decide to give him their blood, wanting Dingy to save them and healing him. Dingy realizes he must stop his former friend Aki before things get worse eventually killing Aki and ending the Gun Devil and the Gun Fiend. The Gun Devil is regarded as one of the most powerful devils in the Chainsaw Man universe. It possesses a number of abilities similar to other devils, as well as the unique abilities uh, attributing to the fact that it is the Gun Devil. Most obvious of all being firearms, the Gun Devil can form various gun protrusions from its bodies. The bullets from these guns having the ability to destroy many buildings and kill thousands of people from super long distances. Many of these guns take the form of assault rifles, M4s, AK-47s, popular rifles in pop culture. As well, the Gun Devil is so powerful while dead, its body still retains much of its power, allowing for other devils to ingest parts of the Gun Devil's body, gaining access to some of its powers. As well, fragments of the Gun Devil can be used to track the larger parts of the Gun Devil as they react to it, similarly to a magnet. Like other devils, the Gun Devil is empowered by fear, thus why it is one of the most powerful devils in the world, as the fear of gun violence is at an all-time high because of the circumstances uh, that was led to throughout the world, the mass production of firearms in order to counter devils, which ultimately led in fear of gun violence, which just strengthened the gun devil. Kind of an interesting critique on guns and gun violence, if you really think about it. As well, like other devils, the gun devil can engage in contract. These contracts that devils form with 
humans must be fulfilled. If the human upholds their part of the devil, the devil is then obligated to uphold his part, hence the contract with 20% of the gun devil and the president of the United States. As well, like other devils, the gun devil has the potential to possess corpses like it does with Aki becoming a fiend. Remember, fiends are different from devil hybrids as a fiend is specifically a devil who possesses a dead human while um, devil hybrids are said to be some kind of strange combination of devil human. It gets a little bit complicated and convoluted, but that's kind of the gist of it. As well, apparently the dun devil possesses immortality in the sense that it can never die of old age as well it is kind of immortal in many aspects as it also has the ability to reincarnate if the gun devil is killed on earth it will reincarnate in hell the gun devil can then return to earth if it is killed in hell so in many aspects these devils especially the stronger devils can basically never be destroyed as they will always exist in hell this is kind of interesting because it kind of takes some cues from devils in dnd i don't know if purposefully or not because in dungeons and dragons if you were to kill a devil on the prime material plane on our plane the devil is then sent back to hell where eventually over the span of maybe years it will regrow and reform and then probably will come back to hunt you so then if you want to get rid of a devil for good you gotta go to hell and kill it there and yes, this was everything we know about the gun devil, answering the question, just what is the gun devil in Chainsaw Man, the primary antagonist, but one with many secrets shrouded in mystery, even now after uh, the first part of Chainsaw Man has been over. The gun devil is a very fun, interesting character, also because it kind of acts as this masquerade for Makima and many of the events that are going behind the scene in uh chainsaw man as early on in chainsaw man you think that the gun devil is actively being the primary antagonist when it's kind of more of a tool being used in the background as makima wants to collect parts of it to strengthen um japan and the japanese government along with the other countries around the world who are trying to do the same thing let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite aspect and part of the gun devil as well if i miss something out that's important about the gun devil please let me know in the comments down below as always guys if you enjoyed the video learn something new make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out some of our other chainsaw man content like our episode breakdowns and our chainsaw man series preview i'm probably going to be doing other videos like this with chainsaw man characters like power dingy the chainsaw man all of that so if you enjoyed it and want to see uh, more content like this make sure you hit that like button and as always guys thank you for watching my video i hope to see you in the next one stay safe out there peace love i do.